goes up, must come down. Why you fools making all that damn racket? Just to tell you once again, who's bad. Holy s- Good arm on that one. I'm gonna tear your playhouse down pretty soon. I can't think of a single developer that has displayed the kind of unrivaled mastery of a single genre as Telltale Games has for the point-and-click adventure. They are to the adventure game as Warhol was to pop art, as Monet was to impressionism, and as McFarlane is to ripping off other people's <laughs> They're the first people you associate with what they do. That's mostly because they're the best at it, and inside of a thick portfolio of evidence that includes Wallace and Gromit, Monkey Island, Puzzle Agent, and even Back to the Future, few names are as prominent as Sam and Max. This anthropomorphic duo has been starring in great point and clickers for nearly 20 years. And although this one just released to the PlayStation Network this month, it's incorrect to call it new. This is the first episode of Sam and Max Season 2, a game originally released years ago, and then it came to the Wii, and then it came to Xbox Live, and finally, four years after its debut, it's arrived on the PlayStation 3. And for Sony fans, it's better late than never. Where are all the other elves? Santa fired them! To stay competitive with the other major holidays, we had to outsource our gift manufacturing. How'd the elves take it? They all got together and sang a farewell song! Aw, oh, that's sweet. You didn't hear the song. Let's just say it wasn't very Christmassy. Season 2 is called Beyond Time and Space. A fitting name for a game with a timeline this ridiculous. The first episode is subtitled Ice Station Santa, and it picks up with Sam and Max in a bit of a sticky situation. Their office is under attack from a massive robotic menace, and after a bit of detective work, they discover the culprit is Santa Claus. It turns out jolly old Saint Nick is kind of a jolly old Saint prick. Now, the whole point of a Sam and Max game is the humor, and obviously that's an area in which Ice Station Santa excels. Sam and Max will have to track down action figures of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, they'll have to stump a killer robot with pop songs, and even chat up some archaic technology in order to crack the case. The game's writing is superb, and as always, the jokes are as funny as they are relentless. <gasps> Bosco, your disguise, it's... it's... it's hideous! Claw my eyes out, Sam! I can't bear to look at it! Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise! Wow! I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something! But of course, this is also a four-year-old game, so how does it translate to the PS3? Well, no worries, because Telltale has made the transition pretty seamless. You might have to deal with some of the oddly typical control clunkiness that accompanies the console versions of Telltale games, but for the most part, Ice Station Santa plays just fine. There is occasional trouble with selecting an object due to the lack of a pointer, but you can always scroll through the surrounding objects with button presses, so you can always get around that. The game is still fantastic, and if you missed it before, there's no reason to pass on it now. now the puzzles can feel a little trial and error at times, but that's the case with most adventure games. And fortunately, even when you're stumped, the game still manages to make you laugh. It's Ice Station Santa, the first of five episodes in Sam and Max Season 2, Beyond Time and Space. You can get the whole shebang now on the PlayStation Network for just 20 bucks, which translates to roughly $4 an episode, or you can get all five episodes of Beyond Time and Space and all five episodes of The Devil's Playhouse for about 30 bucks, which translates to freaking do it already. Put him away! And Jimmy goes down! Boxing Eddie is the new champion!